Today we're going to be reviewing Sony's floor standing speakers. First, we're going to start with the layout. As you can see, my two subwoofers power Sony subwoofers 100 watts per piece. As well as the Sony speaker, the left tower speaker sitting there. She's a beauty. Followed by a 4K LG HDR television with the PS4 Pro, an Xbox One X, and that beautiful Ankyo receiver down there. As you can see, that's going to be the other tower speaker on the right-hand side, followed by my Apple 4K television and my beautiful center uh, channel, which is 200 watts. I just love that bad boy. So that's the setup. Next, I'm going to give you a small review of the Sony speakers. I'm just letting you show them what I'm working with, and you'll see in the moment. The design of these bad boys are amazing. For the price of just $99 with the new sale that they have, previously $158.99, you can't beat this sleek black design. Nice black screen cover, and compared to the older model, they're a lot lighter in size, only nine pounds, and smaller in dimension by almost four and a half inches. Under the screen cover, they have a nice blue speckle coated over all the screens. You'll see in a moment. And let's talk specs. It's a three-way four-drive speaker system with bass reflectors. The first woofer is 100 millimeter, 130 millimeters cone type. Second tweeter, 25 millimeters soft dome type. And the super tweeter on top, 19 millimeters soft dome type. The maximum input power, 145 watts. Now, they come with small accessory foot pads that go on the bottom so you won't scuff your floors when moving them. Now, do be aware, the speakers are not ma magnetic shell, so therefore, if you have these speakers near an older television, color shade may occur. So beware when they place next to a television. But that's most of the specs. What's up, what's up, what's up, my fellow YouTubers? This is your boy, Smooth Boy Steve, and this is Tech Bro. Now, you seen the review earlier about the Sony Tower speakers. These things are a beaut. I love them, I can't complain. This model has been out for about four to five years from Sony. They've been releasing for a while, but Amazon had a major, major sale on them for $99. These things dropped about $150 for what I can remember when they first came out. So two for the price of one, why shouldn't I jump on them? But they're 145 watts. I actually have the old model of these tower speakers, but I've got these bad boys and they sound crisp. That's the one thing I noticed from the older model, which was 200 uh, watts altogether. The older models did pack more bass, so you did get more boom when you hear like explosions and stuff like that. But these guys are so crisp and you hear every detail, all the sounds that you probably missed before without them. I can say about tower speakers because I have bookshelf speakers before. Tower speakers do, brings a different full bass, full sound, just full band all around. Um, I am, it is powered by an Ongeo receiver, a uh, 5.2.2 receiver. So the last thing I'll do before getting out of here, and I'll play a video um, and audio so you can see how it sounds. You probably really won't be able to tell via YouTube, but it's still something to hear. It sounds amazing. Uh, definitely get these things. They're on sale right now for $99 on Amazon. You can't beat it for the price. And just look at them. These things are beautiful. Um, like, share, subscribe, please. Um, more tech to come from your boy, Smooth Boy Steve. Another episode of Tech Bros. And I'm out of here, baby. Thank you. Much love. Everything.